टूडे वी विल डिस्कस फोटोथेरापी और लाइट ट्रीटमेंट इन न्यू बॉर्न जॉन्डिस हियर वी विल फाइंड आउट वाई जॉन्डिस इज हार्मफुल फॉर बेबी विच बेबी नीड्स फोटोथेरापी एंड वॉट लाइट इज यूज फॉर द सेम हाउ फोटोथेरापी वर्क डज स्किन पिगमेंटेशन रिड्यूस इफेक्टिवनेस ऑफ फोटोथेरापी वॉट इज द बेस्ट लैम्प अवेलेबल सो फर फॉर लाइट ट्रीटमेंट Can natural sunlight be used for treatment of jaundice in a baby? What precautions must be taken when baby is on light treatment? Do's and don'ts of phototherapy. What are short term and long term side effects of phototherapy in a baby? And lastly, is home phototherapy advisable? So let's get started. What is phototherapy in newborn baby? Use of a special light to treat jaundice in newborn baby is called phototherapy. Why jaundice is harmful for a baby? Jaundice in newborn occurs due to deposition of a pigment called bilirubin which stains skin and eye of a baby yellow. If serum unconjugated bilirubin rises to a critical level, it may enter blood brain barrier and damage basal ganglia brain causing carnicterus. Carnicterus results in permanent neurological sequelae including cerebral palsy seizure and hearing loss etc in a baby later in life Phototherapy is the most widely used treatment method for newborn jaundice that is unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia which converts unconjugated bilirubin to a soluble form so that it is easily excreted out from body hence phototherapy prevents carnicterus advantages of using phototherapy it is easy to use cost effective non invasive easily available in all level of healthcare and there is not much long term serious side effects of phototherapy that is why it is the best option for neonatal unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia treatment what light is used for phototherapy in newborn the light used is blue to blue green light which has wavelength of 460 to 490 nanometer It is the bilirubin absorption spectrum. In simple words, unconjugated bilirubin absorbs light maximally in this range. Mechanism of action of phototherapy: When blue light falls on skin, it converts unconjugated bilirubin, which is in insoluble form, to a photochemical that is soluble, which gets absorbed into the plasma and finally get excreted via liver and kidney. There are three types of photochemical reaction that can take place. first is structural isomerization second photo isomerization or configurational isomerization third photo oxidation out of which structural isomerization is the primary mechanism of action and photo oxidation is the least important pathway in structural isomerization bilirubin undergo intramolecular cyclization to form into a soluble form called lumirubin which can be excreted by liver in bile or kidney in urine and which doesn't need conjugation further lumirubin is the major photo product in bile and urine photo isomerization unconjugated bilirubin exist as 4z 15z form which is non polar phototherapy converts z to e form causing z e isomerization this is called geometry isomerization or configurational isomerization E form is polar and it can be excreted in bile. In photo oxidation only minor fraction of bilirubin are excreted. Bilirubin upon phototherapy converts into small colorless polar molecules like monopyral dipyral etc which are excreted via liver and kidney. What should be the intensity or irradiance of light used in phototherapy? the intensity or irradiance should be more than 30 microwatt per centimeter square per nanometer more is the intensity more effective is the phototherapy hence every 6 month there should be quality check of phototherapy instrument to assess if adequate intensity is being delivered if phototherapy bulb has lost intensity or power output by more than 20% from accepted level then that bulb should be replaced what type of lamps are available for phototherapy First is tungsten halogen white lamp which is not preferred these days. Second is CFL which stands for compact fluorescent lamp which can be used. 
Third is LED that is light emitting diode which is the best available option so far. Why LED light is best option for phototherapy? First is high efficacy. It can deliver narrow band spectrum and high intensity light. Second is varieties. It is available in various forms as overhead lights, mattress, blanket, side panel etc. Either using fiber optic light or lamp. Third, less heat. It produces least heat even if intensity is increased. So helpful in intensive phototherapy. Durability. It remains effective for long duration without any need for replacement of lamps. Average durability of LED light is approximately 10,000 hours. Fifth, power consumption. It is power efficient as well and electric consumption is less. Can sunlight be used for treatment of jaundice? Yes, it can be used but it has following disadvantages. First is it is less efficacious compared to blue light. Second, as it is a broad spectrum light against blue light, which is a narrow spectrum light. Third, if sunlight is used for long duration, it has more chance of overheating and dehydration. Fourth, it may also cause sunburn. One more disadvantage of sunlight is it contains UV light too. What is the ideal distance of overhead phototherapy unit from baby? For conventional phototherapy, it should be placed between 30 to 45 cm, average being 40 cm. However, for intensive phototherapy, the light can be placed as close as 15 to 20 cm from baby. However, as per new guideline, overhead phototherapy equipment should be as close to baby as possible without causing hyperthermia for which blue LED light should be preferred. What happens when phototherapy lamps are placed farther that is more than 45 cm? If phototherapy unit is placed at more distance from baby then light energy will reduce by a factor of square of increasing in distance. That means suppose distance of phototherapy unit is increased by R then light energy will reduce by a factor of R square that is light energy is inversely proportional to R square. What is intensive phototherapy? It is called intensive phototherapy when narrow spectrum blue light with high intensity that is more than 30 microwatt per centimeter square per nanometer is used with baby as close to light source as possible with triple surface phototherapy that is two light up and one below with maximum area of skin of baby exposed. What are indications for intensive phototherapy? It is given when serum bilirubin level is close to threshold for exchange level or when baby is readmitted for hyperbilirubinemia that is rebound hyperbilirubinemia. How much body surface area of baby should be exposed for phototherapy? Baby skin or body surface area should be exposed as much as possible. Only organs to be covered are eyes using eye band and genitalia with cloth cover or diaper. While using diaper, it should be folded back to expose maximum surface area at back. Why eyes and genitalia are covered during phototherapy? Why eyes are covered during phototherapy? Eyes are covered to prevent retinal damage or degeneration as newborn's eyes are still developing. Why genitalia are covered? Genitalia are covered as phototherapy may impair fertility in future and also it can cause DNA damage leading to mutation. Does skin pigmentation reduce effectiveness of phototherapy? No, skin pigmentation fortunately does not affect efficacy of phototherapy. SSPT versus DSPT versus TSPT. SSPT is single surface phototherapy when only one overhead light is used. DSPT is double surface phototherapy wherein one light above and one light below or one phototherapy mattress below is used. TSPT is triple surface phototherapy where two overhead lights and below one light is used. It is most effective. In which babies phototherapy is used? Indication for phototherapy. Phototherapy is given when total serum bilirubin is above cutoff level on R specific nomogram. Or baby is icteric up to palm and sole. Or baby looks jaundice 
on day one. This serum bilirubin cutoff depends on baby's hour of life that is age, gestational age that is term or preterm, blood grouping incompatibility and other factors. Contraindications of phototherapy when not to give. In case of conjugated hyperbilirubinemia, that is when significant proportion of TSP is direct or conjugated fraction. In case of evidence of cholestasis, in hepatic dysfunction in baby and in congenital erythropoietic perforia. What is Brown's baby syndrome? When phototherapy is given to a baby with direct hyperbilirubinemia, baby turns bronze in color. This is called Brown's baby syndrome. What are side effects of phototherapy? Phototherapy is quite safe and does not have much long-term side effect on baby. However, following adverse effects should be kept in mind and proper precaution should be taken. Short-term side effect, loose stool, rash, dehydration, hyperthermia or overeating, bronze baby syndrome, oxidative stress. Long-term side effect, risk of retinal degeneration, risk of gonadal toxicity. Can phototherapy be interrupted? Short interruption from up to 30 minutes to up to 1 hour is still okay for breastfeeding and general care. However, if TSB is high and close to exchange level, then better to give continuous phototherapy without interruption and EBM can be given through spoon feeds. When to test for serum bilirubin? TSB is done just before phototherapy started and then it should be repeated after 12 hours. This is as per American Academy of Pediatrics. And then repeated every 12 hours. In high risk baby, where bilirubin is in rising trend, high TSB, and baby's age of life is less, then TSP should be repeated first at 4 to 6 hours after starting phototherapy and then every 8 to 12 hours. This is again personalized and individualized for each baby. Bilirubin starts falling as early as 4 to 6 hours after initiation of phototherapy. When to stop phototherapy? If total serum bilirubin is less than 2 to 3 mg per deciliter, lower than phototherapy cutoff, then stop phototherapy. This is as per AAP and IAP. Or as per some other guidelines, if two values of TSP more than 12 hours apart fall below phototherapy range, then stop phototherapy. What chart is followed to decide phototherapy cutoff? Three types of hour specific nomogram as per gestational age and other risk factors are used commonly. First is AAP chart by American Academy of Pediatrics. Second is NICE UK chart by National Institute of Health and Care Excellence. Third is Bhutani chart by Bhutani, Johnson, Severi et al. AAP chart cutoff for phototherapy are higher compared to other charts. When to repeat serum bilirubin level after phototherapy is stopped? In usual cases, 18 to 24 hours after phototherapy is stopped, serum bilirubin is repeated. And in presence of hemolytic anemia, it should be repeated 6 to 12 hours after phototherapy is stopped. This is as per American Academy of Pediatrics. What is rebound hyperbilirubinemia? If serum bilirubin level rises to phototherapy range 72 to 96 hours after discontinuing phototherapy, then it is called rebound hyperbilirubinemia. Aggressive phototherapy versus conservative phototherapy in premature baby. Conservative phototherapy is when light treatment is given when bilirubin level crosses threshold level. Whereas aggressive phototherapy is when phototherapy is initiated early or immediately after enlargement. So, it has more adverse effect compared to conservative phototherapy. How to care for a baby who is on phototherapy? Optimal temperature should be maintained and temperature monitoring should be done at least every 2 hourly. Optimal breastfeeding and urine output should be ensured. Eyes and genitalia should be covered. Number of stool should be monitored. Weight of the baby should be checked daily. Change sites at regular interval if baby is on SSPT. Can jaundice level be predicted by seeing a baby? Yes, as per Kramer criteria, pressing on skin at bony prominences on face, chest, trunk, thigh, leg, palm and sole, we can roughly assess jaundice level. As bilirubin rises, it starts showing off on face first and then gradually progress down. Palm and soles are affected last 
if serum bilirubin crosses 15 mg per deciliter. But after phototherapy is started, skin color is no longer a reliable method to assess serum bilirubin of a baby. Another most recent and interesting concept is home phototherapy. Billy blankets are available for home phototherapy. It is a phototherapy instrument in the form of a blanket where fiber optic technology is used to deliver blue light to baby. Just wrap the billy blanket around baby so that lighted side of billy blanket is in contact with skin of baby. Disadvantages of home phototherapy Efficacy of home phototherapy is less than hospital setup as irradiance and body surface area exposed are less. Also, lack of supervision may lead to many side effects like dehydration, overheating, etc. Hence, American Academy of Pediatric recommends to use home phototherapy only when a term baby needs optional phototherapy and when there are no risk factor and TSV is not too high. Quiz time Today's MCQ Which phototherapy light source emits minimum heat? Halogen white lamp, CFL, LED lamp, all of the above. Write your answer in comment box below. Conclusion Benefits of phototherapy weighs far more compared to its adverse effects. Hence, it is the best option for treatment of indirect jaundice in newborn baby. Thank you for watching the video. Hit the like button if you like this video, share this video with your friends and do subscribe to Pediatric Simplified. Disclaimer, this video is for educational purpose only. For medical advice, kindly consult your physician.